everyone. Welcome to Amala Movement. I'm Charlotte. Today's practice is all about slowing down and giving our back the love and care that it needs. Let's get started. So we're going to begin today's practice kneeling. So bringing your big toes together, knees nice and wide. If you know that you've got sensitive knees, shins or ankles, I really encourage you to pause this video, go and grab yourself a blanket or a couple of pillows so that you can really prop yourself up, give yourself, give yourself a bit of cushioning. Um, and particularly today, really do listen to your body. If you're experiencing any level of pain, please stop and find a comfortable position for you to rest. So once you have arrived, bringing the palms of your hands down towards the earth, really feel the support that you have underneath you. Draw your belly button in and up towards the spine. Carve a line with your nose to look forward. Exhale, bringing your elbows towards the earth. Belly button in and up. Carve a line with your nose to look forward. And exhale, bring the palms of the hands down to the earth, forehead resting, coming into child's pose. And we're gonna rest here for a few moments. So in this slowing down, I know it can be quite tricky sometimes. I know the mind likes to wonder and think and plan and question, and that's okay, we're human, that's allowed. And I know from experience, particularly with back pain, uh, there may be a lot of frustration or anger physically or emotionally, but we're allowed to soften, we're allowed to let all of this physical and mental tension just melt away. Allow your breath to be long and soft. Keeping your legs, your knees, exactly as they are, the torso, the upper body, is going to shift itself a few centimetres towards the right. So we're coming into this side stretch down the left side, opening through the armpit, and this doesn't need to be a big movement. Whatever you're doing right now is more than enough. Taking this time for yourself is more than enough. Really know that. And bringing the torso back to center. Taking another inhale and exhale, moving the elbows and the upper body to the left. It doesn't need to be a big movement, just a few centimetres. Opening up the right side of the body. Using your breath to help everything drop down and melt away. Let the belly soften, the right shoulder soften. At the end of your next exhale, bringing everything back to center. 
slowly start to blink the eyes open, wiggle the tips of the fingers, the tops of the toes. We're going to come out the way we came in, so carve a line with your nose to look forwards. Come up onto your elbows, gently engage the belly, drawing it in and up towards the spine. Pausing. <sighs> Using the support of the hands to press up and straightening the arms. Keep looking forwards. <sighs> Wake up the tops of the feet, press them into the mat, lifting yourself up onto all fours. And then slowly, mindfully, with all the control uh, coming into your tabletop, you might need to have a little release, shake out the knees, shake out the ankles. <sighs> Feeling all 10 fingers pressing into the mat, your first finger particularly pointing forwards. Tucking your toes and the slowest downward dog you have ever done. <laughs> so engaging the core, feeling the fingertips, sending the hips up and back, slowly moving to our downward facing dog. Now more than ever, let's bend the knees. Feel the tailbone. Lift up and back towards the ceiling. This is a really gorgeous stretch for the lower back through the shoulders and the armpits. And staying here, dropping your right ear down towards your right shoulder. So stretching the left side of the neck. Come back to center. Dropping your left ear down towards your left shoulder. Stretching out the right side of the neck. Bringing your head back to center. Carve a line with your nose, look in between the fingertips and step your feet just halfway up your mat. Hip distance apart and then walk your hands back towards your feet. Bend the knees generously. Hold opposite elbows. Ah, feel your lower belly uh, melting and spreading against the tops of your thighs. Gently nod your head as if you're saying yes. Shaking your head as if you're saying no. And taking a sway so the legs stay still. The upper body can rock and sway from side to side. This doesn't need to be a big movement. Coming into stillness, planting the hands, stepping the feet back so that we can bend our knees and come onto all fours. Draw the belly in, look forwards. Cross the calves behind you and rock back to come and sit on your bottom and shuffle your butt to the middle of your mat. Right. So from here, planting your feet into the floor, holding underneath your knees, the backs of your thighs. Roll the shoulders in towards your back, lift the chest. Take a deep breath in. And you're going to tuck your pelvis underneath you so that you're scooping the pelvis under and slowly continue rolling down until we come to land on our elbows. We're going to take a variation of cat-cow here. So at the moment, my pelvis is scooped under like a ball and I'm going to extend my tailbone over the bridge so it goes over, down and away and this can encourage my chest to lift my chin to float up towards the sky. Drop the chin towards the chest, come back to your bowl shape, so tucking the pelvis under. Ah. Breathing in, going over the bridge, lifting the chest. Chin can lift, 
Press the elbows into the mat, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, rounding the spine, drop the chin towards the chest. And keeping this movement going with your breath. This is a really lovely um, free self-massage for the lower back and for the glutes area. Particularly if you've got um, some lower back things going on, the glutes tend to be quite tight as well. You might hear a few clicks, um, as long as it's not painful. Ah. And next time you're rounding the spine, so tucking the pelvis under, you're going to walk your elbows away from you so that you can come to lie on your back. Take your time to do this. Having both feet standing, knees up towards the sky, feeling the weight of the head drop back into the earth, the neck can release. In fact, let's even give ourselves a bit of a neck massage right now. So bring the palms of your hands to the back of your neck. Squeeze. There's no right or wrong way to do this. So just do what feels good. Bring the hands back down towards the side. And our left knee is going to come up in towards our belly. Interlace our fingers and drop the weight of the hands on this left knee. So what we're not doing is we're not squeezing and rounding the spine. This creates a bit of tension for the back. Quite the opposite, we're, we're doing nothing, we're letting go, we're letting the weight of the leg just be. Just let it be. Allow your head to fall back into the mat, the, the shoulders to soften and take a circle of your left leg. It doesn't matter which way. So the whole of the, the femur, the whole of the bone is circling in the hip socket, like stirring a spoon in a mixing bowl. And then for yourself, just noticing what part of this movement is feeling a little bit tight or there's a little bit of tension. A part of this movement that feels particularly sticky or tense. And I'm gonna invite us to pause. Pause in that area that feels tightest. Breathe here. And by giving this little extra time, this little extra attention, maybe something else, can release and continue this circle the other way. So circling the knee the other direction. Ah, coming back to center, interlacing your fingers behind the knee this time and drawing this left knee in towards your chest, flexing the left foot and thinking about your thigh and your tummy being glued together for as long as possible, extending your left heel all the way up towards the sky. This leg isn't going to straighten, so don't worry, don't worry about having to bring your foot to your face. We're not going there today. So we're looking to find kind of an active hamstring stretch and then circle this left ankle. Keep drawing your left thigh in towards your chest. Circling the left ankle the other way. Notice if the elbows are getting really tense, let them be. And then bringing your left ankle to your right knee, pressing the left knee away from you. Interlacing the fingers this time behind your right knee. Coming into our glute stretch. And again, you can choose stillness. If your body really loves this pause for the breath and the body to find stillness, you can stay here 
or taking a rock from side to side. Bringing your right foot down towards the floor, uncrossing your legs and then lowering your left foot back down. Taking a moment to pause and to notice. Maybe your left side of the back can feel a little more released or easier. The left glute might be feeling a bit more soft and squidgy. And let's bring the right knee in towards the chest. Interlace the fingers and drop the weight of both arms over the right knee. Pausing for a moment and then taking some circles, the whole leg moving in the socket. Relax the back of the neck. And then listening to what's going on in this right hip socket. Listening out for a point that feels a bit sticky or a bit tight. And can you pause in that sticky tight area for a few breaths? And this focus and this attention to the body can encourage us to drop and let something go. Find more release. And circling the other way. Coming back to center. Interlacing the fingers behind this right knee, flexing the right foot, gluing the right thigh and the tummy together and then extending the right heel all the way up towards the sky, not worrying about bringing the foot towards the face. Allow the right glute to soften and relax into the mat, circling the right ankle. So you might feel this activating the hamstring, the muscle chain down the back of the right leg, circling the ankle the other way. bringing the right ankle to the left knee, squeezing this right knee back behind you. So activating here, thread the needle, bring your right arm across through the gap, interlace the fingers, pause here. <sighs> Choosing stillness or a rocking sensation. Rocking sensation? Rocking movement from side to side. slowly bringing the left foot down towards the earth and threading the right foot, bringing that back down, taking a moment to pause. Very slowly and with control, stretching your right leg long along the floor, your left leg long along the floor, your right arm long over your head, your left arm long over your head. Stretch, take a yawn. Take a big sigh out through the body. Bringing your hands to your lower belly, bringing your left foot back up to standing, your right foot back up to standing. Melt the shoulders away from the ears. You might need to wriggle the scapula, the shoulder blades back underneath you. And coming into this Beautiful position, our semi-supine, our constructive rest. My favorite position of all. <laughs> it's really, really great um, for, for hundreds of reasons, but with a focus of the back, the muscles of the back, this is really perfect for allowing the spine uh, to, uh, to almost fall away from the muscles. Um, our back is fully supported. So any muscular tension that's going on, it can, it can melt like chocolate melting <laughs> or an ice cream melting on a hot sunny day. Now I'm 
thinking about ice cream. Come back to this shell. <laughs> Finding this really quiet space in the body. Feeling all of the vertebrae in the spine drop down with gravity towards the earth beneath you. Knowing that the muscles of the back can surrender, can let go. You've got the support of your yoga mat, you've got the support of your feet, all ten toes are in contact with the earth. You've got the soles of the feet, the heels of the feet, uh, gently pressing down so your back can let go. At the other end, you've got your head really, really heavy. Your tongue dropping away from the roof of the mouth, the jaw easy and released. The cheeks are soft, the eyes are heavy. And you are fully supported. You're allowed to completely let go. Please do stay here for as long as feels good. Come back to this at any time. Bringing the palms of your hands together, the thumb in between your eyebrows up to your third eye. Thank you so much for taking this time to really listen and connect to your body and to your practice. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.